Garrett, the judge has got him wrong, Garrett. <laughs> I'm standing there, Garrett's face goes all red. And he says, thanks, ma'am. Hey, Malachi, I better go put this away. <laughs> she walks off, he walks off. I'm stuck there in this red carpet. <coughs> Thousands of Toastmasters walking by. But have you ever felt alone in a crowded room? Have you felt that? Mm -hmm. I had a pity party. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I join Toastmasters in the first place? You listen to your wife. <laughs> 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 what, type of, what type of husband listens to their wife? God. I hate timekeepers. I hate evaluators. I, you know, we're just blaming everything else. And then something happened that I will never, ever, ever forget. A woman walks up to me. She's got a silver camera in her hand. She had a soft voice. I can't place her accent. And she said, no, look, I can have a picture with you. I'm like, okay. She's like, I just want to tell you, you were robbed today. <laughs> the judges got it wrong. <laughs> you were the best out there. Where's Garrett when you need it? <laughs> <laughs> so I, I look into her eyes, and her eyes start watering. Then my face went red, but she couldn't see it. <laughs> <laughs> I pose for my picture. She walks off. Have you ever learned a powerful lesson in a painful moment? Well, I started to think the penny dropped. Garrett didn't win first place, but he touched the American woman's heart. I didn't win first place, <coughs> I touched this woman's heart. And it was as if she said, while you were reaching to touch a trophy, your speaking touched my heart. And I got it. That's what contests are about. Hearts, not trophies. Get to my hotel room, put the trophy down. I don't cry this time. <laughs> and I came back from Vegas a chain speaker. Because I realized that trophies are not about accolades, awards, or standing ovations. They're about hearts. They're about touching people's heart. Where you place in a contest isn't as important as the place your speech in your audience. So before you <coughs> get your coaching, before you write your speech, answer this question. Are you reaching to touch a trophy or speaking to touch a heart? Guys, that's what happens.